Oh Here, God, put myself in there. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are waiting for that, eh? Yo, <laughs> <Hey>, chill. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, it's Liam Fraser. I'm here with PTW, just playing some video games. Thanks for having me, guys. So, I'm from Toronto. Um, I lived on the east in the Danforth, and I also lived in uh, like the Leaside area for a bit. And then in 2005, I moved out to Vancouver and played a bit of soccer out there. Um, and then in 2013, I moved back to Toronto, and now I'm in like the Young and Eglinton area. Regards to like some people, I find like people in Toronto are a lot more like fast paced and, and, and a lot more like high key, you would say. Uh, people in Vancouver are a lot more just chilling. I, I imagine pretty similar like California or anywhere along that West Coast. But uh, I like Toronto a lot better. I think uh, the culture is a lot cooler. And I think the multiculturalism and, and where you can eat and shop and go out is, is, is sick. And yeah, Toronto's, I always say it, it's the best city in the world. Obviously soccer was a massive one, but I think Hanging out with friends, listen to a lot of music. Um, played hockey for a bit. Besides that, just you know, I scored. Look at that. Um, but nah, pretty regular. Like nothing crazy. <laughs> Depend. If you're asking me, I was I was lit at it. Um, if you're asking other people, you know, I was just making my way around. It's like that. Um, what I'm doing right now, playing soccer. I think uh, it's pretty lit, and to be Doing it in the city that you're from is, is even better, I could imagine. My dad played a lot, and I think he definitely had a heavy influence on me playing. But, uh, nah, I think just as soon as I kind of started playing, I fell in love with it, and I realized it was something I want to do and, and, and a way to make my money. 13 years old, I think I was probably, like, definitely something that I knew I, knew I really wanted to do, and I think it was one of those ones where it was definitely attainable if I was to put my mind to it and, and, and kind of work hard at it. I think that was the age. FIFA was a big one. Um, Smash Bros. on a 64 was big as well. I used to always bust that out at my friend's house. A little bit of Mario Kart, not as much as I would have liked. Donkey Kong a bit. Played a lot of GTA, to be fair. A lot, of, a lot more GTA than I should have been playing, but um, probably just those, yeah. Favorite TV show? Uh, Proud Family's up there. I was talking about that a few days ago. That was a big show. Um, way back on Family Channel, there was like Lloyd in Space. And then always Looney Tunes on Saturday morning, right after watching soccer, but yeah. So um, I lived in Vancouver and I played for the, uh, for the Vancouver Whitecaps out there um, until I was about like 15, 16 years old. And we, we moved back to Toronto for my dad's job and obviously I knew Toronto FC was here and it was something I was really, really uh, wanting to be a part of. Um, so just through a bit of connections, I got the opportunity to try out for them and I made the academy team when I was around that 15, 16 year old age. Um, and then I think it was a year or two with the academy and I signed my first pro deal with the reserves. Um, and then last year was my first year with the first team. So, um, like I've gotten close to a lot of the guys on the team just through my years of being there. Um, so it was like a pretty smooth transition and it's fun. It's really fun. So I'm, I'm glad it kind of worked out that way. So we train every single day. Um, it's usually report 10 a.m. in the morning and, and then you train about an hour after that and you always got a bit of gym work after the session but it's kind of all building towards the, the end of the week when the, when, the, when the match is so I mean it's pretty it's pretty tailored to what day the game's on it's pretty regular but it's, uh, it's, it's very consistent every day of the week a lot of vegetables don't really go out much don't eat out as much as I would like to uh, but no, like I'm definitely, definitely smart about it. I think it's a less, it's less like how much you eat and just what you're putting into your body. And I think just knowing when to eat certain foods at the right time is, is, is what it is at the end of the day. Nothing much, nothing much. I, uh, any new music that's out and I like to listen to and, and kind of gets me up for the game is, is what I'm bumping. Um, but no, it's, it's pretty regular. Just hang out at home if it's a home game. Chill with my parents, um, and then it's a away game. It's 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 really boring if it's a late game. He's doing nothing in the hotel room the whole entire time, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. There was a guy named Paul Scholes from Man United. He was just a good player. He's in my position, and, and I really liked watching him. Um, there's a guy who plays for Barcelona right now. His name is Sergio Busquets. Again, just a good player in my position. I think it's all pretty relative to my position, and, and, and kind of just trying to learn from him more than anything. Um, but right now, a guy like LeBron James, that guy's a specimen, so. I think just kind of seeing 
what like one of the greatest athletes in the world does is, is, is cool to watch and cool to look at from like a different sport perspective. I think it was a number seven Ronaldo on Man United. And I was really, st I used to wear like soccer jerseys in all my like school photos. And I used to just get, pff, all the kids just bust me for it, roast me, kill me. But I think now they, they see how lit it is. Everyone's busting out the old soccer jersey. So yeah, and it might make an appearance soon. A recent, I don't know why I've been listening to Tatiana so much. Um, but most played song. Um, look at my phone quick. You should take a look. Yeah, take care, but take care. The album and then cameras. I think. I'm ready to that. That's a uh, it is, isn't it? Eh? I'm telling you, those low key ones just go unnoticed. There's no real reason behind it. Like I had it when I was a kid, and and, and I liked that. Probably had like a good season wearing it, and I always liked the number seven. So I was just like, hey, let me jump on that. And it was available at the time as well. That's, that's a big one, just having numbers available. A guy on our team last year wore a jersey to a game. It was a, like a retro Man United jersey, and it was, it was pretty lit. Like, I had the collar and all, and I think any old jerseys with a collar and a better pattern on them are decent. I, I captained like, my, my, like the, the national team um, a few years ago, and that, I was pretty big. My family was there, and then I think just making my debut for Toronto FC was massive as well, having my family there and, and, and the people that I love there. So I was pretty, I was pretty excited about that. I got two. I'm really, really close with. Uh, I'm really, really close with uh, Ashton Morgan and Jonathan Osorio. I think uh, those guys know a lot about me. <laughs> those guys know a lot, a lot about me. Um, so I'd probably just say no, those two. Um, I played against Wayne Rooney last year, and it was it was one of those ones where just like I watched him play every Saturday morning with my pops, and and, and my uncle had a big, big. Uh, I don't want to say crush because he definitely doesn't have a crush on him, but, but he liked him a lot. Um, so I think there, and I ended up getting his jersey after the game, and I thought that was pretty cool. So I was able to show my parents that, and I think it's one I'll keep for a while. I'm big into, I'm in business school at Ryerson right now. Um, so I think something along the lines, along the lines of that, I, uh, I'm a bit interested in finance and just kind of understanding how the stock market works. But somewhere in business for sure, for sure. No, like uh, a lot of it just on the road and, 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 having the, the discipline to do it more than anything as opposed to just like messing around and, and going out and a lot of times you're sitting in your room and just being bothered to do it more than anything um but no i'm uh to be fair i've been a lot better than i expected to be i think i, I thought when i initially took it i was just like there's no way i'm doing any of this but you got so much free time during the days now which is it's a lighter issue um before a match it's it actually changes sometimes i told you guys curvy hey I could listen to a bit, a bit of EDM, just get me uh, going, but a lot of rap, like a lot, a lot, a lot of rap. And I think that's kind of like the collective, uh, collective feeling in the change room too, is a lot of rap music before the game. There's a few, I, I really like Kodak's album that came out, came out a few months ago. We were listening to some old stuff in the car just now, some Saturday Night Fever, some Bee Gees, um, but in, in the car, old Drake, 50, 2 Chainz album just came out, it's not bad, he has a couple good songs with Travis Scott, reggae, Reggaeton, bit of soca. It's it's uh, it's mixed bag for sure. My dad for sure. My dad was a big one. I think he uh, he was my biggest mentor and, and definitely someone I looked up to. And I think he uh, he really pushed me to make the next steps and, and kind of want to be the best. And I think uh, I owe a lot of it to to, to him. It's big. It's good. Um, I'm really really a big fan of like a Daniel Caesar, uh, Roy Woods. No, but there's a good one. To be fair, I'm a big, big fan of Daniel Caesar. Um, I went to his concert twice when he came, and I was really, really happy about that. But uh, yeah, fruit gushers. <laughs> fruit gushers are big. I haven't had fruit gushers in years. Like a fruit roll up, Dunkaroos, all the easy stuff. It was nice. It was so much sugar in it. My parents, parents didn't care about me when I was back then. They felt no ways about me eating any of that. To be fair, I since I signed early, I only had one retail job. I was like a, a shoe salesman at sport check. It wasn't as bad, it, it, like it was, it was decent to be fair. Like the discount was good and like I liked the people that I worked with. But like if I'm being dead honest, there'd be times I'd just be like making forts in the back and like just kick up with a couple of the guys and I can't put any names out there, but, <laughs> but it was definitely, uh, there'd be times I'd just be chilling doing absolutely nothing. But besides that, it was uh, just a job day and day. First pair of soccer cleats were a pair of Pumas. Uh, Puma Kings. I, I think my mom kept them for some reason, but they're, they're definitely still in my house. I'm pretty consistent just with Adidas. Um, any any kind of Adidas shoe, I'm, I'm I'm pretty generic now. So, but any specific? No, I don't think so. No.
I think I think it kind of just changes depending on like the mood if it's if it's lunch. But uh, like I'm big into Japanese, so Imanishi. It's on uh, Dundas West, pretty far west. Like a said foreigner or a Taroni, something easy. You can get a nice dinner or lunch there. Um, probably those, yeah. I utilize it like a, a lot of it's just resting and, and being at home and just kind of being smart just because it's time that you want to take off. Uh, so off days, kick it, um, hang out with friends. It's pretty boring to be fair. I found a, uh, there's, a there's a like a bathhouse in Etobicoke. Um, I've been kicking it a lot there lately. It's a lot better to spend your money, just hang out and do nothing. Um, and then off season, uh, sometimes a vacation with the family. Um, but besides that, it's a lot of just like rest and recovery and just kind of getting yourself ready for the next season, essentially. Um, I've been on this one, uh, JJJ Down for a while now. So I have a few pieces for them. I just bought a blanket for them. Um, I'm pretty gassed up about that. Um, I was just, like, I st still rock heavy with Stone Island. Um, what else is there? Uh, the Native. Um, I think those are it. Like, I'm pretty, pretty open to all kind of brands. I'm less, like, big logos on the front and all that stuff. I say that, but I'm wearing a box logo T underneath this, but <laughs> that's my bad. <laughs> I think first, just have fun with it. Just enjoy what we're doing and and make sure you love it just because it is it is a commitment and it's a dedication you got to be willing to sacrifice a lot of things and the reward at the end of it is, is good it's, it's great and uh, obviously i'm just at the start of my career but it's just some of the small things you realize and um like what you what you can achieve when you put in the hard work it, it is cool and it's it's telling um we had a lot of change at the start of the year but i think we all kind of realize that it's uh it's here now and we got to make the most of, uh, of, the, of the people that left and the people that came in and I think everyone kind of has that similar mentality that if we work together and we all kind of keep the same mindset, we, uh, we can achieve unbelievable things and I think everyone's kind of on the same page with that. I want to score my first goal at BMO. I think that's a big one. I think uh, having the people I love in the crowd is, is, is massive and I think them being there for that would be, uh, would be super cool. Um, and I think just kind of enforcing myself as a starter among the group and, and, and uh, being, being recognized as that person is, is really important to me and I think I have the ability and, and, and mentality to do it. Yeah.